Okay, let's start. First, if you want to know you, so please do a short introduction about yourself and name your country. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm Khan. Yeah. Khan Ibrahim. Uh -huh. I come from Senegal. Senegal. And uh, I'm here, like, my major is uh, Mechanics and Intelligence System Engineering. Okay. Yeah, I've been here since uh, 2015. 15? Yeah. That's it. So it's the fourth year now. My fourth year, yeah. Okay, you come here to study engineering in Japan. And yeah. so why Japan, not the other countries like USA or Europe? Well, as as far as I know, in mechatronics, Japan is the first. Before coming to Japan, I was studying in in, uh, in French, in France, and then it was like um, engineering school, but more too much theoretical. Mm -hmm. So it was like um, I I did not really get the whole experience, mm -hmm. and also personally. Most of Senegalese people would be going to France, you yeah. know, and maybe America, Canada, and stuff like uh. that. But for for me as a Senegalese, I wanted to have a unique experience. So coming to Japan first, the, the curiosity was there, and also the fact that Japan is one of the leading countries in this field uh. also forced me, literally forced me to come here. You have exact reason to come here. Yes. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, let's talk about study experiences. Um, do you take courses in Japanese, anyways? In Japanese. Japanese? Wow. So is it difficult or easy for you? Uh, the first year it was a little bit difficult, but once you get used to it, and because it's mechanics, so it's like, it's not like uh, you have to, you know, write essays and stuff like that in Japanese. Oh. It's just like reading, understanding, and then doing calculations and stuff like that, memorizing sometimes. But once you get used to it, it's all right. Okay. And you said uh, the first year it was difficult. What kind of difficulty? Well, we have... Um, um, how you call it? Uh, mechanical processing kind of thing, industrial uh -huh. processing, uh -huh. and like you have to memorize a lot of stuff. And depending on the way of speaking, uh -huh. the normally people from this side will be speaking a dialect that's not really uh -huh. the proper <laughs> Japanese. I see. So for us, just studying normal Japanese and coming here and hearing for the first time the Komoto brand, for example, uh, okay, it was a little bit difficult. But but then once you get used to it, it's alright. And then the writing also, depending on the, the teacher, is gonna be different. Okay, I see. So, actually, how many languages can you speak? Uh, I would say five. Five? Oh, God! Uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> depends on the... I think, I think with a little bit of practice, I can say six, but uh, not, not really. Six? Okay, count it. Well, uh, I have two languages from Senegal. Two languages from Senegal? Right? From Senegal, like yeah. Wolof and Pula, right? Okay. And then French, Japanese, mm -hmm. uh, English. Okay. And maybe, uh, maybe. I, I, I would okay. like to say I also speak German, but I have not spoken German for a while, so I okay. uh, cannot really say I can speak. So basically, German. five. Five, yeah. That's really wonderful. Uh, also, encourages me as well. Okay. Thank you. And let's move to classroom environment. You know, um, we all here. People were hearing that um, Japanese people are shy and they are not so open to foreigners. What about your cases? Is there some changes in that opinions? Uh, in general, maybe I can say yeah, but uh, once you know them, it's not like that anymore. Uh -huh. I think it's not being shy; it's more mostly being polite, polite. very polite. polite, and like so polite that you don't worry, they don't really wanna hurt your feelings, so they won't be saying some stuff. Wow. And then for us foreigners, it's gonna be like, oh, he did not wanna say it, so he's shy or something. But actually, he's just polite. Once you know them, now you can, you know, say some some stuff like you know some real stuff. Also, <laughs> exactly. depends on really? the people. It really depends on the people. Uh, but generally, I can maybe say shy. Shy. Oh, yeah. Polite. Polite. Mostly. Polite. Okay. How did you start from connecting with them, like uh, to make friends? Japanese people. Yeah. Just normally, I think. I think I I am with a uh, ninja. <laughs> so like we we keep speaking in English and everything. Uh -huh. But like for our with our classmates, it was I think. Playing with them mostly like sports and stuff uh, like that, playing cards and like just joking around, uh -huh. trying to discuss with everybody actually. Okay. Even girls actually. Uh, so <laughs> that that's that's just be normal, like talk to people. Okay. Don't talk. You you came here, so you have to talk to people. Okay. Even if they don't come to you, you have to stay to people. Now with about three or two years you can call it and is the re relationship of you and your classmates getting better, better? Yeah, I think yeah, it's, I think it's quite good. I'm still getting older and stuff, so you know like what's the, what are the bounds and what are the boundaries and, and everything. So yeah, it's just kind of respecting each other and also playing sometimes when you have when we can. 
Yeah, it's, it's getting better. I see. Okay. And I think uh, when we're studying engineering, any kind of engineering, um, the support from the teacher is really important. How about Japanese teacher? Yeah, they're great, man. Right. They're really okay. amazing. Okay. Like, okay. we, we had a few projects in like these three years. We had a few personal projects, actually. Mm -hmm. And like, every time I said, oh, I want to try to do this. I want to try this thing. I want to do this thing. They, yeah. they always say, yeah, come in, like, do this. Uh, yeah, my lab is open. You can use it all. Oh, we have the funds, we're gonna give it to you. Like, wow. They're really great, really, really. Like, not all of them, <laughs> but like most of them are most like, of them amazing. Are amazing. Okay. Yeah. So they are so supportive of you. Yeah, yeah, extremely, extremely yeah. good. I see. Um, so, <clears throat> and then for you, you think and become a study pilot, it's a good thing for you or bad thing? And Definitely. so, some example for you. Definitely. Definitely. Before I came here, I was like mostly, you know, terrorism, writing, you know, formulas and shit. And, <laughs> and like, uh, once I came here, I first joined the robotics uh, club. Oh. And then from then on, like, I was amazed because, like, seeing those young boys, like, first year and stuff like that, being able to do oh. what they would be able to, what they, they could do, you know, like, crazy, crazy yeah, stuff. Like, okay, someone right. make robots crazily, just like, someone showed me an article, an application, a game he, he made by himself and everything. He made by himself. And then it was really like a shock to me because I'm like, oh, I know how you did it. And I know like the whole thing, how it works, but I don't know how to do it. Like uh, I can't do it. Maybe you don't know like the, you know, the theories about it, uh, but I know, but you know, I can't do it, right? Uh, and, I, and then I started thinking like, what is the, really the use of learning something that you can't really use in your real life? For example, if, if, <laughs> if all of a sudden there was um, a nuclear attack or something, and then we had to, you know, live on our own, Will I be able to reproduce what I studied? Will I be able to help human beings, like uh, normal people? Will I be help, able to help my family for them to survive? And the, the answer was no, because all I know, knew was I learned to, to do was just like, you know, writing stuff, okay. solving exercises. And once I came here now, yeah, you know, learning how to do stuff with your own hands while knowing still how it functions, like the, the knowledge, the, having the basic knowledge and still being able to do stuff, and also being able to use it to such an extent, extent that you you can say, oh yeah, I can now I can really work. I can be useful to society. Mm -hmm. I think that that's really good. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay, um, so a little bit about your future plan. How long will you stay in Japan? I don't know. <laughs> have no plan? I don't know. I have plans, but I don't know. Um, it depends. I I, I really want to create stuff, make my own company and uh -huh. work, do business. Uh -huh. I also still want to, um, you know, have a PhD and everything. So it depends. If I decide, for example, to go for a PhD, I would just, you know, stay here and work and then maybe later I'll be a uh -huh. professor, maybe in Senegal or something. Or like do some research here for a while before I go back. Or if I would decide to do business, then I'll just stay do business and then try to be a, a um, how can I say, just a bond between Senegal and Japan, oh, okay. you know, work internationally so that oh. I can be useful to my people and also be useful to Japan. That's very nice. Thanks. And do you recommend students from all over the come stay and study in Japan? It depends. Depends. I won't say, hey, come, <laughs> but I'll say, if you know what you want, mm -hmm. yeah, come. If oh. you're really ready to put in the work, like if you put on the work and then learn Japanese, for example, mm -hmm. and still like perform at school at the same time and then you know do private stuff like still have you if you have a plan and everything it's great for you but if you just want to know for the sake of coming to japan if you want to come just for the sake of coming i think it's, it's not your thing because if you just come to you know play around it's gonna be difficult uh -huh. if you come now to study and everything it should, it should be all right it should be very good actually okay i see so lastly um want to hear your advices for students who want to Come and study in Japan. <laughs> Think like they want, they should prepare for coming or and stuff like that. Like what kind of stuff? Um, like studying Japanese before coming here or any other, anything. Yeah, studying Japanese would help. Yeah. Studying Japanese would help, but but the first for them probably studying one year. Right? Mm -hmm. I think we're not extremely good at it, but <laughs> but as soon as you send me, we can you know communicate and everything. I think that's enough. You know, maybe just try to blend in and talk to people try to be normal and then just try not to say i'm a gaijin so i'm a privileged person 
No, just try to be like everybody else. Work hard and then do the thing. That's it. Just don't be like, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy. You know, I'm the guy. You know, you need to respect and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's not good. I think if if you start thinking like that, that you have to put on the work and then you start really. If you have a plan, also Japan is really good for you. If you have a plan, yeah. If you come to play around, then <laughs> I wanna, yeah. Thank you very much for coming here.